Hi, I'm Christy Simpson with ChristySimpson.net, and in this crochet tutorial, I will be showing you how to crochet the curly Q edging. It is cute and fun and adds a whimsical feel to any design. So grab your yarn and hook, and let's get started. For this curly Q edging, I would like to show you first how to create the base and then how to add the border. First, we're going to start off with the first color here, and it's a single crochet in a chain. Single crochet, skip a space in a chain, and you'll repeat that all the way around. In the center, what we're going to do is single crochet, chain two, and single crochet up in the corner. And then you'll just repeat. If you decide to just work on the edge of a project and not all the way around, say like for a blanket, then you will just um, single crochet in the end. So that's all you would need to do for that one. Then when we come back and add the curly cues, we will be working in the chain spaces to add those. And I'll show you how. So let's get started. I already have a swatch here that I have made and then I placed a single crochet border all the way around. Yours does not have to have a single crochet border here, but I would recommend it, or you can just use the ends of the rows. It just makes it cleaner if you already have that established. Now to practice, I've got to get my yarn here. Okay, insert into the end of your row, okay? And then chain one. Single crochet in that same space. Chain one, skip one, single crochet. Chain one, skip one, single crochet. And we will repeat that all the way past the corner or to the corner. But this is what you will do along the edges. Chain one, skip one, single crochet. Very easy. When you get to the corner, say you're um, not quite even, that's okay. Just chain one and then just go ahead and work into the corner because once you add the curly cues, it will all line up anyway. So, and nobody will be able to tell. So chain two and single crochet in the same stitch. And I will just do a few past this just so you can see the overall look. Now if you're going all the way around, make sure you repeat that same single crochet, chain two, single crochet in each corner. And then when you get back, just slip stitch to the first single crochet after you chain one. And that will join that round. Well, I'm going to cut that there, and then we will start on the curly cues. Like I said, these will be um, created in the chain spaces. So what you're going to do is find that first chain space, or you can start in the corner. It does not matter. Okay. Pull your yarn through, and then chain 13. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I'll show you, this is going to curl up really kind of tight. Sometimes you have to help it look correct, but if you do a shorter amount count of chains, your curly cue will be shorter. If you do longer amount, say 16 or so, it's just going to continue spiraling here. So 13 I found looks pretty cute but doesn't really go too far and make it too heavy. So the next thing you do is you have your first, um, you have your hook here and then your first chain. I'm not going to work in the back bar, I'm going to work in the top part of this chain, this top loop. And what I'm going to do is place three single crochet in each chain. And as we go, one, two, three. This is going to automatically curl and make a curly cue. 
One, two, three, one, two, three. See how it's curling up here? I think these are so neat. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Okay, just a few more to go. All right, we have one more to go. Two, three, and in that first chain, we're going to put three single crochet. And then slip stitch to that same chain space. And that kind of anchors it into place. So then what you're going to do then is chain one and then slip stitch to the next space. And then chain 13 and then three single crochet in each chain. But I think you can, you saw how to do the three in each. But what you will end up having is a curly cue in each chain space. Now when you get to the corner, there is one chain space and you will just do the same thing. So then chain one, slip stitch to the next and work all the way around. Now that you know how to do this cute and adorable curly cue, go and add a cute border to your blankets or towels or accessories. I hope you've enjoyed this crochet edgings tutorial. By using these edgings, you can add flair to any project from blankets to sweaters and beyond. I also hope that you will join me back here for more crochet pattern video tutorials. Mm -hmm.